So we are at the Stark Arena here in the Serbian capital, Belgrade, for the championship game in the 2022 Turkish Airlines EuroLeague season as Real Madrid face off against Anadolu FS Istanbul. The opening tip is up, but it's a little bit of a false start. Adam Hanger with the Euro step and evades the outstretched arm of Adrian Moyamont to give, the, give us the first field goal of the game. Tiptoe three pointer rattles home for Tibor Pleiss. Vasily Mitsic goes glass, my goodness. The bank open on a Saturday here in Belgrade. Eddie Tavares in heavy traffic, retrieves it up strong and powers it home. Gabriel Deck goes up strong, another offensive rebound. And Eddie Tavares is unstoppable here in the first quarter. Mitsic drives past Tavares, Oof. goes to the reverse and gets it to go. So Shane Larkin looking to keep his team in contention. Mitsic driving and it's that move again. Almost a carbon copy. Rodrigue Boubois off the mark, but Chris Singleton catching and cramming with a forceful jam on the inside. So Anthony Randolph checking into the game. They hang it up for Vincent Poirier. A spectacular play with Felipe Reyes looking on. Beautiful fake on the shot. Bryant Dunstan powers up strong and finishes in the paint. How about that for an acrobatic finish from Rudy Fernandez? What an offensive board, oh! but what a rejection from Vincent Poirier. They hang it up for Vincent Poirier. What an alley-oop connection. The French connection. Man, sometimes working with you is so difficult, man. You took French connection right out of my mouth. I'm sorry, I was Jim. ready to drop it. Deep into the shot clock. How about no. that for speed and body no. control? And he gets the shooter's roll. It's Mitsic being defended by Kozur, pulls up for three, way behind the arc and connects Woo! from downtown. Anthony Randolph with a pump fake that sent Adrian Moyamont to Paluto. And with 20 minutes in the book, it is Real Madrid leading the reigning champions by five. Larkin driving, slapped away by Eddie Tavares who makes amends for committing the turnover, Yui. Driving on Mitsic, kicks it out to Adam Hanger to beat the shot clock, and he connects from Woo! almost at the sideline. So Yui tiptoeing around the three throw line. He gives it to Vincent Poirier, who wheels his way into the lane. Offloads to Gershon Yabaselli. Mitsic attacks and beats everybody to the glass once again. Collides with the camera operators beyond the baseline. We've got a few extras here between Poirier and James Anderson. Poirier ran up and got the first push in. Anderson did react to the push where it could be a double unsportsmanlike, but I don't know. Let's see what they talk about here. Unsportsmanlike foul against Vincent Poirier. Unsportsmanlike foul in the other direction. So a double unsportsmanlike, which cancels it out. I got one right, Ron. <laughs> well done, Joe. I got one right. Well done. So it's Larkin with the shot clock turned off. Working against Vincent Poirier, looks to cross oh. him up, goes twice oh. and doesn't get the shooter's roll. Mitsic pulls up over Eddie oh. Tavares and drops the three-pointer. Fabio Cazare pushes over the halfway line. Chris Singleton mugs him to take the ball away and rises high to rock the rim with a two-fisted jam. Mitsic offloads to Tibor Price, oh. who's denied at the rim. A terrific takeaway by Vincent Poirier, who rose up high. That's a seven-footer and some change. Yui pulling up for three, and he strings it. Mitsic hangs it up for oh. Tibor Price, who crowns Vincent Poirier with a perfectly timed alley-oop. So Yui creating room with the dribble, rotates it to Gabriel Deck, stands still three-pointer, is buried. Mitsic driving. Getting the left-handed shot Plice. away, and Tibor Plice, Plice working the offensive glass, swatted away on the exterior by Bryant Dunstan, the all-time leading shot blocker in EuroLeague history. Hanger defending, not fouling, but climbing inside the jersey of Vasily Mitic, who beats him with the dribble, gets to the halo. Shane Larkin for three, off the back eye, and ball is in the air, and it's still a loose ball, and there is the oh. final buzzer. And it is all over. Anadolu FS Istanbul reinforced their recent dominance by retaining their position at the pinnacle of European basketball. They started out 0-4 this season. They were 1-5 at one point in the bottom of the table. And they fought and clawed their way back. Vasilya Mitsic has just been announced as the Final Four MVP. And of course, 
that is a very popular verdict and who better to hand over the trophy than Vasilis Benoulis. Hey, Mises owes me some miles from last year. I just remembered that. Why does he owe you miles, Joe? Because I, when I was talking to him when he won that MVP thing, he got those million miles, I said, you got to give me at least half of those. <laughs> well, that's Dos Balbay who's received the trophy for the second year in succession. He calls over Bryant Dunstan to share this moment with him. <laughs> and Dos Balbay handing over the responsibility to Bryant Dunstan. For the second year in succession, Anadolu FS Istanbul are the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague champions. And that concludes another campaign of EuroLeague basketball. The winners for the second season in a row are Anadolu FS Istanbul. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you again next season.